A few weeks ago, I decided to build a forced air trash fired furnace. If you're not familiar with that project, I encourage you to watch this video right here. That project was mainly done out of curiosity and kind of just an exploratory project to see if it was even possible to heat air by burning trash. But since that time, the temperatures have really started to plummet where I live. Daytime highs are around 45, 46, and we've been running our main heater a lot, and we've been really running low on propane gas, and because of this, it's kind of kicked my forced air trash furnace into overdrive. So what I've done is I've taken my prototype model, which just kind of heated the outside air. I never had it plumbed into the house, and I've tweaked it and done some modifications, and the result is right behind me. You can see that it looks a little bit different than it did in the first video, but the concept is the same and the parts are nearly identical. And I have it plumbed into a window of the house, and this is an exciting day because I'm going to burn some trash and see if it actually works to heat my bedroom. The details of the system are as follows. The heart of the furnace is this 2.5 inch inlet and outlet thrush car muffler. The muffler sits atop a stainless steel clothes washer drum with a hole cut out of the front to allow for easy feeding of garbage. I also have some 2.5 inch aluminized exhaust tubing for inlet and outlet pipes and from there I have two pieces of three inch PVC pipe that goes into the house. In the window frame I've cut a piece of plywood to fit so that intrusion of the cold air from the outside is kept to a minimum and I've cut two holes in the plywood to allow for the PVC pipes to go through. I had an old wheelbarrow inner tube that I cut into sections and then I used some hose clamps to attach the plastic pipe to the metal pipe. So I have a fairly airtight system. Inside the house I have a 7 amp Black & Decker leaf blower to circulate the air from the bedroom out through the furnace and then back into the bedroom again, hopefully carrying some heat with it. It has two speeds, loud and very loud. But I will definitely persevere and deal with some extra noise if it means that I will be able to economically heat my bedroom. This living space is probably about 250 square feet. I'm not sure exactly, but I have it closed off from the rest of the house for testing purposes. I want to see if my furnace can raise the temperature in just this room before I really put it through its paces to see if it can do anything to the overall temperature of the house. Right now, my temperature gauge says that it is 41 degrees outside and 59 degrees inside. I've purposefully let this room get kind of cool today because I want to see what this furnace can do. So it's time to go outside and light her up and warm our hands by the fire in the process, hopefully warming the bedroom. Since I began working on this project, I've accumulated a five gallon bucket full of paper trash that I'm going to be using as my feedstock tonight. So, without further ado, I'll start a fire, turn on my air circulation blower, and see what transpires. As was the case in my previous video, I'm going to keep track of the total elapsed time for this project. So as soon as there is ignition, I'm going to start the stopwatch.
cái cục kia đi It's cold out here Baby, cold out here You could also call this thing a paper shredder. We're almost six minutes into the endeavor now and the sun is down. Very warm by the fire though. It's been 12 minutes now, and it's definitely dark outside. I burned all of my trash from my bucket, and then I even found a few pieces of wood scraps around the house here that I threw on afterward, and they're still burning. But I think now it's time to go inside and see what that air feels like. We'll see if there was actually some good heat output from my endeavors tonight. You know it's cold when the dog's wearing a jacket. Let's get inside. So here we are inside now. The fire is still burning outside, but I had to turn off my air circulation device just so that you could hear me speak. That's one flaw with this system that I don't know how I'm going to work around. You definitely won't be able to sleep with my heater running. That was just on low, too. You just... <laughs> wake, wake up the neighborhood like that. But I wanted to show you something before I show you what the temperature is inside the house here. I brought in this thermometer that was outside. It's reading about 40 degrees still because it was cold out there. But I wanted to see what the output was here at the outlet. So here we go. Turn this on. Anyway, it's hot. I don't want to break my thermometer, but it's reading over 100 degrees, and it was burning my fingers just holding the thermometer there. So now it's time to answer the question that's on everyone's mind, and that is, are the lakes on the moon filled with malt meal? No? Did my garbage-fired furnace add any noticeable heat to the bedroom? For the answer to that question, I will consult my digital thermometer, which I placed here on the dresser for the duration of this experiment. I took care not to put the thermometer directly in the line of fire of this outlet pipe because I didn't want to give any false readings. That would be cheating if I just put it right there on the blower. Then I could say that Jake's revolutionary HVAC heating system 
revolutionizes the heating industry. Yours for only five easy payments of something something 95. No CODs. Call within the next 30 minutes and we'll double the offer. California and New Jersey residents pay sales tax. No, I want an accurate representation of what this device actually does and doesn't do. So I don't remember what the temperature was when we started. I think it was around 60 or 59 here. And it looks like we are sitting at a pretty 64 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that's half bad for about a hundred dollars worth of materials and some cardboard and a couple pieces of plywood. And that was about 30 minutes elapsed time from the first ignition there in the fire pot. So at this point, I think that this definitely will not heat the entire house. However, I think it is a good supplemental heat source, especially if you need to dispose of some cardboard, some yard waste, some sneakers, some motor oil, you know, whatever. Whatever you need to dispose of. If you need to burn it anyway, why not grab a few BTUs and send them into the bedroom? That's what I say. So I'll tweak this a little more. If I have any more eureka moments or any meaningful modifications that I think are worthy of sharing, I will definitely do that and will follow up. But as of right now, I'm happy with it. I'm going to use this and hopefully cut my heating bill a little bit. Live the winter in comfort and economy. Thanks for watching.